He was just mumbling, talking like he had a mouthful of cotton. He wouldn't speak distinctly. He might speak loud enough part of the time, most of the time, but he was his words weren't distinct, uh, you know, understandable. I mean, he just mouthed a bunch of cotton. <laughs> She'd just say, you, "You're bumming again." You know that's. I say, well, you're, you just can't hear. And sometimes I'd have to ask him two or three times to repeat what he said. If I wasn't looking at him, you know, uh, I couldn't understand him. I would hear him maybe, but not understand him. He didn't want to carry on a conversation with anybody hardly. He, he didn't want to go anywhere. He didn't. He wasn't interested, and he had always been. We had always been real active. I mean, he just wanted to stay home. When he started, he realized it, and he saw it right away, and he enjoyed coming. He really did, and he wanted to improve all the time. He looked forward to, to going to class, even. Yeah, I looked forward to it. I didn't want to miss any classes, and I've encouraged others to go, go to your class since I had it, you know. Oh, that's a hilarious. This group's a bunch of good guys, real fine individuals, and uh, I enjoy being around them. So what do you do in those groups? We yell at each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But we also we can encourage each other to, you know, in, in, the, in our sessions we have with you. He doesn't ever want to miss. He looks forward to coming to the loud crowd, and he enjoys being with the other men that have the same problems he does. He realizes his problems aren't just his own. Everybody has to face them and deals with them and goes on with life the same. And he, he uh, gets, is more interesting to talk to people now since he's been going, uh, since we had his voice lessons and he comes to the loud crowd. It has really improved. That has helped an awful lot. He talks more to people now, but he is improving. <laughs>